Good morning, everyone. This is Chandragla. Now we will continue our second section of fourth chapter. That is, in last class we have discussed about fourteen and simple barometer. Now we will discuss about aneroid barometer. Uh, here, main problem was uh, one thing was about mercury. That means in our both previous barometers we had to fill a mer uh, liquid. Next thing is it was difficult to take them from one place to another. So for that, then we constructed an aneroid barometer which was not containing any kind of liquid, as well as its size and shape is so convenient that you can take it easily from one place to another place. So this is the structure of an aneroid barometer. Here, only one simple concept we have to understand is that here we have a road. Which is named as L, and it has a toothed end. Toothed end means just like the chain of your cycle, like that, uh, where the pedal and the wheel has been attached with the help of that chain. That that kind of toothed end it has, and this is actually one toothed star-like structure. And this star is connected, fixed with the tooth of this uh, road L. That means obviously they cannot move away from each other because their toothed end has uh, submerged into each other. Na? So that means if they will move, they will move together. If they will stop, they will stop together. That is the main thing. Here, the lower portion of this road is just like a diaphragm. Diaphragm means uh, it can contract or it can expand. That is, that are diaphragms, right? So here, the concept is when the atmospheric pressure increases. In that condition, that atmospheric pressure will exert pressure on this road, and this road will move inward inside this box because this is one. a smoothy surface just like diaphragms so it can move inward and outward so when the pressure will increase the road will move inward and when the road will uh, move inward then the wheel this toothed star or wheel will move in this direction because the this road is moving in this direction so the tooth this star or wheel will also move along with the road only that is in this direction okay so in that condition this pointer will move in this direction and this is one circular scale so in this direction you see the pressure is increasing so the reading of aneroid barometer will increase why because the pressure has been increased because of which the road has moved in the down move has moved in the downward direction and because of which your wheel is moving in the clockwise direction next thing is you see when the pressure decreases then the road will move in upward direction okay if it can move in the downward direction it can also move in the upward direction and when the road will move like this then this wheel will also move like this so that means the along with that the pointer will move in this direction so that means here the readings are decreasing therefore your aneroid barometer will give you a decreasing readings so that means increase and decrease in uh, atmospheric pressure can be measured with the help of this now we have one different topic but uh, before that we have some important points regarding using mercury as a barometric liquid and why we cannot use any other liquid and uh, most probably water because it is free of cost it is available everywhere so then why don't we use water instead of a uh, mercury so this is also important point and we have to uh, remember about that so the first point mention is you can write here merits of uh, hg that means i am not writing about water but that i have already explained you that means why we cannot use water instead of the mercury so here some points are given most of points you have already uh, read in your previous classes the important thing is density of mercury density of mercury is very high and how much high approximately 13.6 into 10 raised to power 3 kg per meter cube therefore if we will use only a 1 uh, meter or you can say 100 cm long tube that can handle the balance atmospheric pressure that can give you the measurement of the atmospheric pressure because the density of mercury will be high and i hope you know relation between pressure and density in last section we have discussed a lot about that instead of this if you will use water water has low 
density as compared to this which is actually equal to 10 raise to power 3 kilogram meter uh, kilogram per meter cube that means if you will use water instead of mercury then you have to use a very long tube and already our problem was that our simple barometer was not portable even we cannot take it from one place to another uh, if it has a length of 1 meter. So, suppose if it is having a length of 11 meter, how can we take it from one place to another and how much inconvenient it will be. So, for the same reason we are using mercury not the water. Next important point is the vapor of mercury is very light. Light means light in weight. So, if due to some reason or increase in the temperature if in the vacuum which is known as terrocelli vacuum in the vacuum of vacuum portion of the tube if the uh, vapor of mercury is created anyhow still it will not affect your reading by a large amount by a large amount means obviously there will be some disturbance but not much more but instead of that if you will take the vapor of water then it will be heavy in weight so that means if here you are having a heavy vapor filled inside it that will exert pressure on your liquid and that will affect the reading so that's why here we cannot use water then the third point is that it does not sticks to the uh, walls of the tube glass tube which you have taken uh, so you can take an accurate that means it's easy to note down the reading whereas your water will form their convex and concave shape so definitely they are they are going to be inaccurate next thing is uh, it can easily be obtained in the pure state. So, mainly we have two points here why we are using here mercury, why we are not using the water. Okay. Now, we have an important topic that we will discuss that is variation of atmospheric pressure with altitude. That means atmospheric pressure with altitude or you can say height. As we already know that as the height will increase pressure will decrease this we already know that means as the height will increase uh, then the pressure will decrease here what we have to discuss is how it decrease that is what we have to discuss that means here we have one uniform decrease also uniform decrease also and here we have one non uniform decrease also that are the two points which have we have to see okay so, uh, here I will write right now only one word but later we will discuss it air column and here I will write density. Okay. So, you know that atmosphere is made up of air layers. So, if you are saying that this is the earth's atmosphere, uh, earth's surface then above this earth's surface you will have the layers of air which is known as atmosphere. Okay. So, first of all this is height this is earth surface that means this is height we are moving in upward direction altitude is increasing height is increasing done as we have discussed for liquids if any object is placed here then it will experience less pressure than an object placed here you know reason because here you don't have any external layers on it but suppose if still it it is suffering some pressure p1 then this object has to suffer this pressure p1 but along with that it has to suffer the pressure of all these air layers also means each and every layer will exert a pressure so that means obviously at lower height or lower altitude the pressure will be more and as we will move in the upward direction since the uh, air columns will decrease number of air columns so number of air layers will decrease so the pressure will also decrease okay that is one thing uh, and it's considered to be uniform that means for a particular height there will be a, a particular decrease in the atmospheric pressure okay second thing is about density as we know that uh, if we have two things any two things if one thing will have higher density then it will have more weight and if one object is light then it will have less weight so we know that heavier things will try to settle at the bottom 
right if you will take a water container and if you will put here one plastic can and if you will put here one can made up of iron you know that the iron can will uh, sink and settle at the bottom whereas the plastic can will be floating here so that means the concept is those things which will have more density they will at the lower height therefore the air layers which has high density because we are talking about atmosphere that means air air is a mixture of gases and we know that all gases are not same and density is the characteristic property of the gas so the heaviness of a gas will also be individual right so that means some gases will be heavy some will be lighter the fact is the heavier gases will be here at the bottom or that means near the earth's surface as we will move in the upward direction the density of those gases will be decreasing okay so obviously then here the density is more therefore here the pressure will also be more because these are heavier gases so it has to suffer this object has to suffer a pressure due to heavy objects as well as lighter also but for this object he don't have to do with the density of these gases which are below this layer it has to suffer only the pressure due to these upper layers so that means since the higher density gases are are at lower level and lighter gases will be in upper level so here the pressure will be more and here the pressure will be less that means from both factors we are getting the same result that is as the altitude or height increases the pressure will decrease but the thing is due to air column there will be an uniform change whereas due to density there will be no uniform change because density depends on temperature so here the fact is if after all or if about altimeter right now we will read one word that is altimeter if uh, at an average it is asked in a generalized way or if it is asked for an altimeter then the final conclusion we will consider will be you non uniform decrease in pressure with increase in height or you can say altitude this we have to remember last time it was asked okay now we will discuss about the altimeter so as we have learned about aneroid barometer and there we observed that uh, uh, with increase in the height the pressure decreases therefore we can make such an instrument uh, which can give us the measurement of the height and altimeter is an device which is used to measure height used to to measure height but with the help of with the help of pressure only okay uh, but here the important thing is that means as we will move in the upward direction the pressure will decrease and we can get an idea about decrease in height when you will solve the numericals you will get uh, clearly it because there uh, some numericals are given clearly that when the pressure uh, decrease by this much amount what is increase or decrease in the height or similarly if the at this particular height what will be the pressure so from there you can get it clear idea uh, that we can relate a pressure with height and here the main thing in altimeter is that means with the help of the pressure we can uh, as decrease in the pressure we can get an idea about height so altimeter is an instrument which is used to measure the height above the earth surface but first thing as we have right now discussed that it uh, works on non uniform decrease in pressure okay and second thing is its scale is also calibrated non uniformly here in your book this word has been not written so you may get confused it's written here ascent that means they have used the Uh, graphical language when you plot a graph in maths or physics between two quantities you always take constant uh, constant gap between any two boxes of your graph paper right now that means when you plot a graph if this is your one box if you are writing here two then in next you will write four and here you will write six that means there is a constant gap similarly here also you have some constant gap on both the axes Be, that means this scale is calibrated uniformly but in the case of altimeter it is not calibrated uniformly but it is non uniform the reason is because there is non uniform decrease in the pressure that is the only difference in the altimeter and clearly it is used to measure the height 
okay right now we discussed that the pressure decreases so for that two consequence or results of or application of this thing is given the first is when the people uh, move to higher altitude their nose blooding starts sometimes ear blooding also the reason is because in starting we have seen that the atmospheric pressure is balanced by pressure of our blood so when you were on the earth surface at that time on earth surface there you were under the air layers and that's also at the heavier a gases you were that means you were suffering a large pressure here so your blood was also exerting a large pressure to balance this atmospheric pressure otherwise you will feel a weight always a heavy load on your head because of the pressure so for that our blood has balanced this pressure that's okay but you see as you will move up then this pressure atmospheric pressure is decreasing if here it was 50 then your blood pressure was also 50 but when you reached here at higher altitude now this atmospheric pressure has been uh, become 30 and this pressure is now 50 now the problem is they they are not equal you have kept here equal sign but they are not equal the thing is here the pressure is less and here the pressure is more so the pressure will or the liquid will move from higher pressure to lower pressure that means the blood will move out of your body because it has to balance this pressure it wants to bring your blood pressure also at 30 so for that reason all through the openings of your body opening means generally nose and sometimes ears also the blood will come out so in that condition nose blooding can take place and the second thing is about fountain pain when we uh, move to the larger height fountain pen starts uh, leaking that means leakage of the ink the reason is you have filled your fountain pen here on the surface of the earth so your pen was filled according to the pressure on the earth which was 50 here so your pen has been also filled at 50 but as you moved up the atmospheric pressure has decreased but your pressure of pen is 50 only so again the same problem is there here the pressure is less here the more so the pressure will or the liquid will move from higher pressure to lower pressure so so the ink will move out of the fountain pen here one very important topic is given that is uh, we can get an idea about weather also with the help of the barometric uh, readings or height okay so one two mark question is always asked from this table i have found it in the form of table you can also make it in your fair notebook to learn it in book it's given in the form of the paragraphs so here uh, that means you are having a barometer now so if there is suddenly decrease in it that means initially it was at 76 and suddenly it has reached to 60 a sudden decrease means there is a possibility of storm or cyclone and if gradually that means slowly if it is decreasing that means there is a possibility of rain similarly if it is gradually increasing that indicates dry weather and if it suddenly increase that indicates extremely dry weather and if there is no much change in the reading that means normal it's nearby then that means the situation will be normal so that means it is also used for weather forecasting as well as it can be also used to measure the height rest of the things we will see next class thank you